Hey everyone, Miyosity here, welcome back. Today I have what hopes to be a very interesting episode in store for us today. We're going to be going back into the Warrens, hopefully getting a little revenge on that swine scavenger, and if not, we're in store for a long exterminate in the Warrens, hopefully leveling up a few heroes, getting a few busts, and getting this spiked collar for the Houndmaster, which is pretty much how we use him, so that'll be a very nice addition to what we have. But let's see if we can't find the, the Swine Scavenger in addition to maybe anything else, and test what's going to be a uh, very interesting group. I decided not to go with the safe route with this, which would have been either a Plague Doctor or a Healer where the Arbalest is, but with some of the trinkets that we found, this could be an interesting addition, so let's try it out. Going to take literally everything in the kitchen sink because we can, and I don't think anyone has the power shard and I'm not going to bother with the estate tokens, so I think we're good. And it's telling me now that I can retreat if I want, like it's trying to tell me something. <laughs> They breed All right. down there in the dark. So I think what I'm gonna do is a little loop-de-loop -loop going down and then back up around. Should hit almost every room. And we're going to start off by hitting these cultists. Probably should have hit the uh, spawn, but that's fine. And we're already getting rabies. Lovely. Then gonna make every bleed for the Wraith, because the Wraith almost never lets us down. She's gonna take out the spawn. Kinda interesting that she hit with the trinket that she has equipped. This cultist dies on his turn. This one is probably going to go down rather soon. Like that. A faint hope blossoms. And then we can have a little fun. Continually on down they go. Sixteen thousand gold. Sixteen hundred. I can count. <laughs> and we don't need to pop that quite yet. Alright, this time we are going to focus on the back row. I swear if I... Vampiric Spirits. Lovely. How does that even work? Whatever. <laughs> Alright, making them all bleed again. That works so well with this party. Um... What's her hit rate? 71%. Or she can do this in 59-59. You know what, let's do this to get the buff on her. And heal up a bit, then we're gonna stun both of them. Trying to. Bond dies on its next turn. Enchantress dies on its next turn. We can just go at the Swine Tar. Speaking of... How did he resist both of those lucky little? All right, bang, marking. And we can't hit him with reap, so let's do that. <laughs> One down. Swine tar is really not looking good. I have it. Get rid of some stress. The slow Two down. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. Seize this momentum. 
push on to the task. Surprised he wasn't trapped. Alright, let's go right. Make sure we pop that. Gonna get the reaver so it doesn't stun us, even though the ghoul does the same exact thing. The uh, reaver is a little easier to take down, I think. That's not pretty. So, yikes, is that going to be... No, it's not another stun. Okay. And that is 130, so let's try to stun. She gets out. Bleeding more. He'll die. Fool's turn. And then we can go ham on him. Okay, so let's heal up. Getting a buff back on her so that this doesn't give us a huge accuracy down. Looks like he's the one who actually needs it. Doing that so we uh, do more damage on everyone. Including the Hound Master. <laughs> Now he'll die on his turn. The bigger the beast, the greater. And looks like we may need to heal a little more. This will be an opportunity for that. I think. Alright, so only stun one of them, so let's guillotine this. Go bleed. A singular strike. Really don't like the Chevalier. However you want to pronounce that. I'm gonna have her heal. That's actually what I wanted her to do. Bleed in everyone. That's what he's good for. Ooh, no regeneration. Ouch. And another stun. Oof. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Alright, so let's take him out. And stun both of them. are going to heal her. Healing our flagellant. Let's hook and slice. Nope. Okay. Killing the fly. And that is a win. Taking everything, we will... Triumphant pride precipitate. Do that. Take that. Don't think we need to heal with food yet. Let's go down to this. Books are bad. And a room fight. Spiders are even worse. <laughs> Alright. Can't really bleed these guys, so let's go for the aquatic. Bling it. What can we do here? We can mark the sword. I meant to hit the sword, but marking the stone is just about as good. We're going to try to knock out the swords before they get the repost. Can't really stun them, so we're going to try to take him out before he heals. That just leaves them. If I, it's not going to be a very good crit chance, and I'm probably not going to bleed him. So we're going to go up this one so we don't take damage. Healing the Houndmaster. Yeah, 
Ouch. We're gonna have to fix that. Then, 7 to 16, we're gonna take this chance. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Then, we're going to do this to try to shuffle them. Nope. Okay. Yike. That is not good. We have bandages, though. Okay. And then we're going to reclaim healing the Wraith. Very nice. And... Up. Oh, no. No, no, no. There will be no summoning. Alright, uh... Darn. No, no. How quickly the time turns. Bad little spider line. Bad, I say. Okay, now that that's dealt with, let's uh, take out this one. That's one less to deal with. Just got this guy. Who shouldn't be horrible, I say, as I probably can't hit it. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, Creator's Protection. That's new. Stun resist, protection, minus a lot of speed. Not the biggest fan of minus speed. So I'm gonna cut over to this one by passing this empty room. Of course. So I'm gonna try something here. Not sure how well this is gonna work. But we can kill him before he summons Grand. I'm gonna be happy. That also means actually getting her to hit. Okay, he has a meat shield now, so that's protection that I can't get past. However, I can do this to bleed him. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Okay. on him. That works. Alright, let's try bleeding again. Seven around. Okay, so if we kill him before a Grand gets up front, will that work? Target whistle, let's go for it. You only live once, right? Not sure how there's so many chieftains that have a grand. Like, is that just a basic pet around here? All right, let's do it. No grand for you, sir. No grand just goes away. Grand goes away. Heavenly hairpin. Trifling victory. Not a victory. That will be very nice for our hellion. And uh, before we get too far. Let's heal him up. And they can bleed. The light, the promise of safety. Well, that's one mini boss in this area down. How many more are we gonna find? Well struck. and all right so let's shoot him I'm gonna try to stun them because they have a pretty good chance of giving us the crimson curse which I really don't like this one dies on his next turn he's gonna take a huge chunk so probably only need to shoot the chevalier one more time We're gonna hit him. He dies on his turn. Oh man, 
and that's what I was trying to avoid. Alright, let's hit him. Probably can start de-stressing with him, to be honest, too. Uh, we're going to heal. And re Then healing the Count Master. Healing. De-stressing, because we can. And bada bing. Where do we got to go? There is a secret room down there. We're going to the secret room, and then there's a room battle that we have to go to. He's better with traps, isn't he? I'm actually going to hit that other thing. So... Key. Money. Pack contains loot, jute tapestry, then going this way. Curio, trap. As the light gains purchase, contains loot. What do you imagine that? And purpose is made clear. Actually, got a good amount of money just hanging around. Kind of odd. All right. So, for this one, I actually want to try something. So first we're going to do that to try to get rid of the spawn. Yuck. Alright. Then we're going to do this, bleeding everyone. Oh, almost everyone. Then we're going to do this skeet shot to get rid of the stealth. So we can actually hit him. I'm actually surprised we blood the sword spider. That's a little odd. He's gonna be fine, so we can do this now. Stunning both of these two, or at least the gore. That's when I wanted stunned. More diseases, that's a good thing. I swear if he gets stunned again. Okay. Alright, we're going to do this again. Leading who we can. Sword Spider shouldn't have too much left in him. We're then going to take out actually no, we're gonna heal. The blood pumps. The limbs obey. And he is going to take out the gore. One down, three to go. That will bleed. Sword Spider will die due to the bleed. Spawn dies due to the bleed next turn. Meaning we just need creeping cough, yuck. He's really going to need some treatment after this. So we just need to get to that Weber. Body and brain. And he's going to be stunned. The blood. All right, we're going to do this. Keep that up. Sword spider down. Bandaging so he doesn't die, and then Weber down. To the pit. Very nice crit. Stress heal that we need. And spawn down. Let's take a moment to this stuff. Slow and insidious killer. And since we did not scout this room, we're gonna go over here. Picking out the drummer because I do not like it. Um, we're going to stun both of them. 
and then she is going to... How much would a buckshot hit for? Possibly taking it out. Okay. Marcher dies on its next turn. Buckshot killing the... Muncher? Was that what it was? Ouchie. Okay, we do need to de-stress. We're going to reclaim to heal. De-stressing. Reaping. One down. And kerbam. A decisive bubbling. Alright. Don't think we have anything for that. We can do use a bandage though. And what's this? That'll wear off. If only that could staunch the flow. Go in here and we will camp regardless. So here's one of our firewoods. De-stressing with a feast. A chance to steal oneself against Lash of Solace. Alan Watch. And then we can Therapy Dog and Courage. And that's our points. In Radiance, may we find victory. Now I see at least one more room battle. Not sure about the those last three. Of course, we're using the grog. Stop or touch that thing. 30% damage until camp. We're definitely going to use that. Gotta love some of this background art. Alright, see another one. They can eat, even though they technically just did. Disappointing. Now here's the thing. I know that technically I can get something with this. Don't remember what, though. Glittering gold. Extra loot is extra loot. Paid for in blood. Slavering cultist is the worst thing here, but that's very livable. We'll still take out the back row first. Putting on a bunch of bleeds. And then let's take out that marcher. Annihilated. Very nice. And then we're going to hook and slice. It's dying on its turn. Just leaving these two. Now let's go for him. Seven over five. So technically he'll die on his turn. Like, on one of his turns, because that's still 28 damage. So by the time I rip through him... Ouch. Some of this crit, though. The end approaches. Just so I can get at the Reaver. I'll buckshot them so I can hit both of them. And reap. Oh, missed. Wow. Don't understand why he's so slow compared to my other Reaper. Or Wraith, rather. Alright, buckshot again. And he dies. So we're going to do this. Buying a little time. There we go. And Hound Rush. Now he dies. Because he dies, Therapy Dog. We're going to heal. Need to heal again. And down he goes. Yeah, I don't think that's as good as what we got on him, but okay. Or is it me? So might as well use that. Take that, take that.
we will give up these gloves for that. Not what I wanted to use, but okay. And go up to the last battle room. One of these again. I haven't seen the torture in a hot minute. Alright, that girl bleed. Can't do the Harry because I would hit her, so let's hit the torture just to bleed him more. Um, so he's got six, she's got four. Let's try to take her out. She'll die on her turn. Well. Once he can do what I want Corsi to do, we're fine. So until then, heal. Don't yell too much about this, please. No longer being guarded. <laughs> now hit him again. And he's down. You're saved, lady. Sorry about the, um, attack. We're gonna pass so we don't hit her. We're gonna move back in place. And heal. Can you go now, please? Thank you. It's an odd looking corpse. What can we take? Everything but that. And we can get rid of the blood for that. Okay. Finding the take all of that. Use some torches. And that's worth more than the onyx. The way is lit. The path is close behind the last door. We require only the strength to follow it. You know, to be honest, I'm a little disappointed we didn't run into the scavenger. Kinda wanted to fight him. Bleeding. Because bleed on all of them is a good thing. Gonna take out that enchantress because I don't like her. And we're going to guillotine. Let's go for one of these guys because the sooner we can take out the guys that can recover, the better. Of course, he would use an attack that heals him. Alright. So we're gonna follow that up by hitting him. We're not beating all of them again. So one down. He dies on his next turn, no matter what he does. So I don't think he can heal himself for enough. So we just gotta hit this one now. Which means also getting through this one, unfortunately. But we can buckshot through him. And now that he's the only one left, we'll reap. Four out of nine. And he's down. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. And now we can get rid of some of this stuff. And that's quest complete. We got the 11,000, the six boss, the spikes collar, which is 20% damage and 30% bleed chance. Minus healing skills, but you know, we don't really use the Hound Master for healing. 28,000 more gold, so that's 40,000 total. I can math. I swear I can math. And a bunch of more heirlooms. Uh, we did get a bunch of diseases, which is fine. Uh, we can treat those out. Bunch of people hit level 5. Natural swing on him, so that's uh, accuracy, evasive for dodge. But Danville did get Lazy Eye, which we're going to want off of him. Perhaps things are not as so, stress healing received up, so that's going to be good for getting them de-stressed. 
Did anyone get too stressed there? No, not really. We kept on top of that. So really all we have to do is throw the flagellant in the medical ward because vampiric spirits and creeping cough. So we're going to treat the creeping cough. Uh, of course, he probably should get natural swing locked in. And that will be that. You know, of course, the one time you're actually looking for the boss for like a, let's see if this actually works, you don't find it. <laughs> but every time you don't want to find him, you don't find him. But we did find out that killing the chieftain gets rid of ground, so that's kind of interesting if you can swing that somehow through uh, just damage or uh, stunning him out of his guards. So, uh, Swine King is up, so we probably will be going to him next time. So look forward to that. Uh, tough run can be very good on certain builds, so that's a nice thing to have in our back pocket. So I'll have to think of how I want to go about him because AoEs are not a good thing on him. So probably have something I can use, but I want to think about that. And after that, we don't have, I, I think it's um one of the flush bosses. Can't really think right now, but so we will probably lo keep leveling up that and go for the next boss after that. And then hit the other veteran level bosses. So as always, wish you all well. See you next time and please have a good one.